Okay. Hello, this is not a spring chick the bikinis are, and I am so excited because this is one of, I could say my holiday traditions or my Christmas traditions, but it's also Monty's Christmas um, tradition because ever since she's been a puppy, this is one of the things that we always do. I know it looks kind of crazy. A lot of times people have multiple Christmas trees. I know my family, it's like each of the kids have Christmas trees, and there's a big family tree, but this one's Monty's tree. And I love this one because this one happens, oh, well, as you can see, um, it's not exactly fresh. And <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it's the Incredible Holiday Light Show. What are you calling it? The Incredible Holiday Light Show. Oh, that's true. Uh, and I'm looking at this going, oh, wait a minute, here's, oh, wait a minute, here's the top of it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the top. Okay, um, so we're, we're just going to go ahead and shape it a little bit because, well, this is Monty's Christmas tree. But the cool part about this one is it has light and it has, oh yeah, we do clap on and clap off. Yeah. But here's the cool part is, you know, you always laugh because remember those commercials where they did the clap on and clap off and they turn the light on and off? Well, Monty's discovered how to make the Christmas tree turn on and off, so we we'll call it, the, it's a Christmas tree that's bark on and bark off. <laughs> yeah. and believe me, she can irritate a lot of people with this tree. <laughs> yes. She has so much fun with it because she can do it that sometimes we have to turn off the Christmas tree. Yeah, so we turn off the, the bark on, bark off part of it, so. I know, but it's really kind of funny. Well, we can do, oh, you can make it do the bark on bark off for just the lights, or you can have it do it just, well, for the sound and the light. Now, even though we bought this when Monty was young, you can still, if you look around, you can probably find it wherever you're getting those real Christmas trees. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, or shall we call these environmentally conscientious yeah, trees? Yeah, actually we found this at Walmart is where we Is that found. where we got it? Yeah, there's two more trees that went with them. They're on the front side of the house. Oh. They never sort of get on... They well, never these get... are holiday decorations. They just like stay in the front planner. Yeah. Is that way because we actually don't know where the boxes are to put them back in. So... <laughs> so well, these do take up a little bit of space. They actually the went in the box that this came out of and we have... Every year we have to cut the bottom of the box open in order oh, to get... Oh, it's hard because, you know, once you take things out of a box, they never seem to quite fit in the box the same way. Yeah. It takes a little bit of an effort, which most people don't realize, that, to do this. You know, because you got to make it look somewhat like a real Christmas tree. Well, you want it to look kind of like a real Christmas tree. Yeah. Right? Isn't that the point of it all? You just keep sort of filling in at all levels. I mean, I have one too that I can't find the light adjustment for on the bottom, which means I probably threw it away is what I did. Oh, did you? Well, mine isn't as elaborate as this one. Mine but just had a little ball tree. underneath, so. I love this tree. It's Monty's tree. Yeah, because there's a Grinch in the, there's a Christmas Grinch here that doesn't want, want, you know, there's not been a Christmas tree in this house in about seven years, I think. Has it been that long? Yeah. So. There's a Christmas Grinch. I know, Ebenezer Scrooge would have paled in comparison. Actually, I used to order the Christmas tree and it would just show up at the doorstep, which is my favorite way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but now you have to, you know, what happened was it used to do it all at the corner, except you can no longer buy Christmas trees at the corner. Yep. And I was just, I, I, was, I was bad about having a Christmas tree. Um, well, actually, now I have a car that I could actually put the Christmas tree yeah, on top of. Yeah, Before got, I didn't, right? Yeah, and so then you'd have to put, and, you know, and the tree Christmas, on top, and it's scratchy. It wasn't really big enough. You know, that whole thing. Yeah, the Christmas Grinch didn't like to pay for deliveries of trees. Yeah, well, so, that was part of it. But um, so. oh, Monty, are you coming out? You're, we're getting your tree ready. Yeah, she's she's probably looks like she's getting ready to walk around. She said uh, it's not on, so I think it'll last. So I still got a lot more. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's, it's leaning. better. I know. You Don't gotta, you think it's gotta straighten better? up its top. The lean. Oh, <laughs> well. I mean, that doesn't really qualify. There. Yeah, it's better. You just got to keep filling in every... Well, the one thing about holidays is tradition, right? Yep. So it sounds like that thing, that song, tradition. Yeah, this is Monty's tradition, folks. Yeah, 
it's just one kind created of fun. just for Monty. <laughs> It's fun. Yes, it gets obnoxious sometimes, but it's fun, and it wouldn't seem quite right without having to do it. Remember those those really obnoxious sounding things that yeah you think are so funny. Your parents get totally annoyed about. Yeah, and when the Christmas Grinch isn't here, it's on most of the time. So, guess who's not here today, folks? The Christmas Grinch. That's right. Wait till he comes back and sees it setting. <laughs> Yeah, we bad people. This Monty's tree. Monty's the Grinch's kid, so. Oh, Monty. He would he would do almost anything for Monty. I said spend four thousand dollars for an eye check. <laughs> Nobody will, so. There's a limit to how much you really care about your girl. So four thousand dollars for an ocular. Yeah, four thousand dollars. Well, and they won't even guarantee it will be a success, which is the bad part. Well, that's the bad part. It is if it's not affecting them. It's not like... I know. You've got a great big hole right in front of you, so... You want to, but it's you like... Know, it's just like... They the, adapt, and they're fine, and it's, well, it's not improving the quality of life. No, we got medicine for her. We, we have a veterinarian. Monty has an uncle that's a veterinarian. He's an old veterinarian. But he, he can treat her for her eye, which... There's just no major problem. She's just, uh, you know, it, like Monty should, you know, this could be a bad Christmas. Monty's having a real good time at the moment. She's so. having a great time. She, because she loved to go out and see her lights at night. Her mommy is finding out that I she know, really I, likes to go everybody out. Everybody thinks that it's just me that likes to see her. No, she really does like to see her. <laughs> she him. goes out longer every night. <laughs> you know, every night gets longer and longer. There's still a hole right above your hand. Nope. Up, just turn around again and go, you know, the other way. Back towards me, turn it around. No, the other way, the other way. Keep going. And right in that area, right in front of you, there's a hole. Right there? Right where your hand is. See, right, right in that. There? Yeah, there's a great big hole in, you know, between your hand and the next thing up. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll get that. So, you know, I have a perspective which she can't see, which is I'm standing off camera, so. Mm -hmm. I'm the old guy. Does that help matter? Yeah. It's almost our annual, we get to see the annual putting up of the tree, which people have got to see for about the last five years. Mm -hmm. So, my tree isn't as big, so it takes about five minutes, so. Problem in modern homes, in older homes, is there's not enough outlets in older homes, so we're, we really have to plug this in and okay, it's great. Well, it look into the ground? Well, it, look like? it, it looks like there's big holes in some parts of it. So like That'll be the right here, there is a hole. Right here? Go in the other, you know, go right in that area, so. Right, yeah, but there's not enough branches. I then pull the thing over a little bit. Lean it straight and it's more up towards your side. Pull it, you know, the top part over towards you. It, I know not. It bends. So, okay. Now we'll turn it some way that really moves some. <laughs> she has no, That's why she likes it. Because, uh, what we'll do is we'll go sit there and plug it in in a second. I like it to be here. a little kind of. It's different. Yeah. It, it looks nice when it's done, but what happens is over the span of the next few days things will be it's more easy adjusted. You change it and you adjust it and you do it, different it, things. In a sense it's almost like a real tree in that the fact is things, it's been folded up in a box for a year yep. and you have to unfold it. It will not fit in the box it came out of the way it is. So. I know, well, that's why it looks like it does right now. Yeah, so, and then like real Christmas trees, you sit there and hide the parts of it from what you don't want to get seen that aren't up. Well, how many perfect Christmas trees are there? Every one that I ever had, because you know why? You cut it. We grew, we cut it. We also grew our own Christmas trees. So, you know, and if, well, what do you do when a Christmas tree on your place gets to be too big? Well, you take the top 12 to 14 foot off the tree, and then you okay. use that part. So, and what people understand, you yeah, know, but doesn't that destroy the tree? Well, if you cut it right, the branch will grow up, and you get a new top notch in a few years. So. So we used to do that. We had a we had a huge room that we put our tree. My house got burnt down, folks. So great big place. And I had a fireplace. 
you know, with a huge, you know, big mantle, and the ceiling was uh, 20 foot up in the air, so we could bring a, <laughs> here's a fun okay, thing. Does that look better? Yeah. I know, I could sit, this is one of those things you could sit there and like, bust us for a long time. It's an time. objective thing to her, so. And we just plug her all in and we're going to see what it does. We've got more work to be done. We just want to see what's functional on it. Had to check out all the bulbs. And then we plug it into the system. And, uh, Of it. Yeah. You can't really use the music, but it does make all these Christmas songs. So yeah. you want to see the cool part? Oh, should we put the tree thing? I know, you can't it? hear the Christmas music, so I have to shut the music off, I know, unfortunately, that's because they, they sue you now. I mean, you know, what we can do, though, is turn the sensor on, but just turn the volume down, so you can see where Monty barks, and then it goes off. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. do you want to see, do you want to see how a dog makes a Christmas tree go off? <laughs> yeah, I know. Really. It has to be in the mood to do it. But look at, you can see, I mean, so the sensors will work. Mm -hmm. So on the light, so. See, look at that. Oh, should we turn it off first? No, look, see. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go, see. Ooh. See, look at that. See what it changes to make the. Imagine Monty going. Rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> so I don't have Monty. She went outside. She got. Uh oh, I think I heard her. I know. She basically got to come in. Somebody is barking at her building. We're going to do this over here. Hold on a minute. So, so yeah. We got we're many gonna, things that have to do. Because we're going to hide all, of course, all that. Yeah. Okay, here's. Now that, this I always love. This is my Christmas tree skirt. There she comes. It's actually for a Christmas tree, but then I also wear it. I know it, it goes home with her for the holidays. Go, when she goes to be with the rest of her family, her Christmas skirt goes with her. And then you have we have spots in here like for Christmas presents. Yeah. You can't expect to see her in her Christmas skirt. I know. I know. I'm bringing it. Well, because what people okay, this was. Uh, when we discovered that it could be worn as a skirt, other people at the store were trying to find ones that were big enough for them to wear too. Mm -hmm. Because it really is. It is a Christmas skirt. You wear it just like a skirt. So. Oh, look at that. I know. Okay. Let's turn it off. Yeah. And then we'll turn on the sensor. Okay, we'll get Monty to sit there and change it. Yeah, let's see if Monty will bark. Monty Bubbles, come in here, baby dog. You want to see your Christmas tree? Can I speak oh, for mommy? Look at baby. Monty, look, Christmas tree. Oh, hold on. We've got to do one with the sound. Oh, Monty, get the sound. Ooh, Monty. Monty, 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 Monty,
So here, here's the funny part. I know, what we have to do is everywhere where we were sitting there talking, we have to. I know, I'm, I'm, I've got her set there and I'm going to put her own Christmas music in over. After she turns it on, then i got to add her own Christmas music. You're not allowed to use Christmas music anymore. Huh? I know, but here's here's the funny part. So what she'll do is she'll come in and she just wants to hear or you know, she'll see other cars. It's funny, it's like, or dogs or something go across. But when she hears it, all right, she'll get into this mode where she wants to hear the Christmas music and she wants to change the songs, so she'll come over here and bark. In the bark, there to do the yeah. bark. <laughs> you can see the sensors at work there as she gets, you know, so. I know, isn't that fun? It yeah. really looks neat at night, though. Oh, yeah. Because right now it was day, but at night this is really it shiny. It looks really cool. So. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, I mean, you can still see it, but. So it's the Monty's traditional Christmas tree has went up now. Yay. So this is off for this tree until next year. That's right. Merry Christmas. <laughs>